Tom, tell us <laughs> about Love Bite and uh, the characters you're both playing. Go on. Uh, I play I play uh, Jamie, uh, um, and it's it's a film about uh, four young lads who are trying to do everything they can to lose their virginity. Uh, and in this scenario, if they don't do it, they will die. Sounds mental, I know, um, <laughs> um, because there's a werewolf coming to town, um, and that's <coughs> that. Uh, it's all right. Um, and then you then you have Tim Spall coming in to be a werewolf hunter. There's a love story going on at the same time. Confusion is who is the werewolf, uh, and it's it's just a good fun. Uh, it's a good fun romp in, in many respects. Mm. Uh, I play Kev, who is uh, Jamie's best friend, um, and he's kind of the polar opposite of Jamie. Really, he's he's um, he's one of the only guys in the in the the group of friends who, who actually isn't a virgin, um, and he's yeah he kind of he kind of. It's kind of very quite. It's got quite a deluded personality, but in the nicest possible ways. He's truly lovable, I think, Kev. Um, he's he's the kind of guy that will give you advice that you would never take. Um, so yeah, he's just a little bit like that, really, just a bit mad. And it does take a quite conventional uh, story in the sense that it's sort of you know sort of teenagers trying to mm. lose their virginity, mm -hmm. but then it adds werewolves. What were your first thoughts when you sort of first read the script? Well, I think it's interesting. I mean, the teenage angst thing. I think what. what you, what Andy impressed on us from from day one was look. Yes, the werewolf element is there, but what will make this thing work is that if you believe the reality, everything you're saying has got to come off the, off the tip of the tongue like it's true. Believe everything you're saying and that will make it real. That will mean everyone will start believing what's actually taking place. And you throw that in with teenage angst, you know, and you kind of just, it was interesting because you just resort back to how you felt when you were a teenager and you start think, you know, thinking about, you always had a mate who came out with stupid things about how, you know, exactly how to get with women, uh, you know, and, and, and it really didn't. Uh, and we've all had mates like that. We've probably been, I've probably made those comments myself at times. Uh, so, so you just try and tap into that. And, and just go there and have, and have a good laugh. That was a lot of the last, you know, those five weeks was just about having a good time and trying into on, on set and, and trying new things out, experimenting things and, you know, and just, just enjoying each other's company yeah. when it comes to the work. Couldn't have put it better myself. And you can, you do get a sense of the, the kind of, the atmosphere. It's a very, it seems that you guys, there was a good chemistry between you all on set. Was that, was that what it was like? Was it quite good? Yeah, it, it truly was. We, we were saying this earlier as well. It was, it was, you know, kind of trying to build uh, a 14 year relationship in the two weeks before mm. you started filming or the, you know, the, the duration of the shoot, which was like six weeks. So, um, and me and Ed were, you know, were the first two of, of, our, of our four boys to meet. And, you know, it really was from day one, you know, everyone just got on like an absolute house on fire. You know, and even still to this day, you know, yeah. I think that really, it, you know, it does it does reflect in the work. And I think it, if we didn't get on as well, I don't know if if it would have been um, as believable. Um, but yeah, all of us got on like an absolute hassle. But we 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 love each other's company still, don't we, to this day? And I'm wondering if you can leave with you from the kind of big city. Did that help when in kind of identifying well, with the character? Well, I grew up in a seaside town. Uh, I grew up in a little town called Littlehampton. Uh, so I kind of, um, we had a little pier, not too dissimilar to the one we shot in here, with a, an old rickety roller coaster. No offence to the roller coaster, I hope it's still there. <laughs> and Wurlitzer sure and Dodgems and things like that. So I kind of, there was, there was, it was, it was weird. It was like going back, back there in many places, in many, many places, many respects. And the film is quite crude as well. Yeah. Uh, that must be quite fun to be on set. Just it's very kind of light hearted, but quite sort of mm -hmm. jovial toilet humour. It was quite, yeah. yeah it must be quite fun to. Yeah. Do. No, it was. It was. It was good. I mean, we, you know, the script was changing kind of um, throughout, wasn't it? Really, not many huge changes all the time, but there were, you know, there were kind of changing throughout. And you know, it's kind of, it was like, it was exciting when, you know, when we got when we got our new pink pages through, and they were going to say, you know, these these scenes are changing. It was kind of exciting to pick up the pages and see what was going to be different because the original script was fantastic. Everyone loved it. It just, you know, as it, as the the kind of the shoot progressed, it just got better and better. And you know, comedy-wise and stuff as well. I mean, Andy, who's a fantastic comedy director, really helped us really helped us bring out those those comedic points and those beats, and you know, really helped us through it. And we, you know, I think we had some really good some really good comedic cast as well. Like Danny's Danny was great, and everyone was fantastic. Yeah, there's been some real, real finds in this as yeah, well. Definitely. People like Danny Kendrick yeah. and, and Rosie Sanson. You know, people yeah, who Rosie was uh, just brilliant, 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 brilliant actress. And, and I think, yeah, I think that was all that was led by by Andy's direction. He's a great actor's mm -hmm. director. He knows how to relax you on set. He knows how to get different things out of you, and he he just keeps a really good even keel the whole way through a shoot. Yeah. Of course, he's directed the likes of Father Ted and Red Dwarf, which yeah. is yeah. sort of British yeah, yeah. yeah. sort of comedy royalty yeah. in a sense. It must be great to have someone with that sort of experience around. Yeah, I think. I mean, that was one of the major drawing cards for me was Andy. Uh, certainly, I mean, obviously, he's got that great comedic experience, but also. I was actually drawn because he can, he can, he does brilliant drama as well. He things like Recovery uh, and, and God on Trial uh, and Kenneth Williams' Fantabulosa were, were, were brilliant pieces. And I think if you can put that in with the comedy, and it comes back to what I was talking about earlier in terms of the realism and having r real characters, and that's what that's what can make an audience engage with you. I think definitely. 
my final question is just that, Ed, you did an ins- entire scene completely nude. Uh, that must have been quite nerve-wracking. What was that like to do? Uh, yeah, you just, you just realise, you know, you see it in the script and you think, oh, well, yeah, we'll worry about that when it happens. And then you see it in the shed, you go, oh, we'll worry about when the day comes. And then the day comes and you go, right, OK. Close off time, and Andy the Emily just goes right, mate. Off you go. Close off. All right. Okay. Thank you. And you, you, the act of the camera goes action. Off you're running down a really freezing cold street, horizontal rain, and you're just ignoring all of that. And then suddenly cut, uh, and you look up, and you're in Glasgow, and you suddenly <laughs> see 40 people in North Face coats, with big beards, smoking cigarettes. Hey, right there, pal. How you doing, pal? Yeah, you're looking nice there, pal. And you're like. Oh, I'm naked. <laughs> Give me a cup of tea and send me to bed, please. Yeah. yeah. But you just get on with it. It's part of the job, yeah. you know. And yeah, anything yeah. that's going to show me doing different things, I'm happy to try out. Well, it just sounds like an average Friday night out in Glasgow. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 Not well, for not, us. For us. Not, not for us. Not for us. No, no. no. Not for us. Not we're in bed at yeah. nine o'clock every night. Yeah. We? Just me then. Cool. <laughs> well, thanks anyway for your time today. Lovely to meet you. Thank you very much.